seven minutes later. Good morning, guys. This sun is no joke, dude. Hi guys, it is currently 9, 10 in the morning. I am just getting myself up for the day. I figured we would do a quarantine morning routine. I know during a time like this, it's kind of hard to keep yourself on any sort of routine and schedule considering we can't leave the house. But I figured I would share with you guys my little schedule that I've got going with me to hopefully inspire you guys maybe to get a schedule set for yourself. I usually will sit on my phone for like 30 minutes. That is sadly a part of my morning routine, but we're gonna skip it for today. I normally work out, but do I wanna work out? Since I moved my room around, this has been like my favorite part of my morning is this, just sitting here with the light hitting me. And it's like that 9 a.m. sun. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit on my phone, wake up, and then we will get dressed and go do our workout. <laughs> It is now 10.56, I laid in bed way longer, but I also had out my dad with something. But before I leave my room, I like to make my bed so that way I'm not tempted to jump back in. And I also put on some socks. Out for the day. Ow. I also like to put shoes on even though I'm in the house because it makes me feel more productive. I don't know why. It is now 11.09, we're gonna go make coffee and then take my dog for a walk. You know what time it is. You wanna go outside? I don't know if it's appropriate to go walk my dog in what I'm wearing right now. I feel like I'm like naked. This is gonna be my house quarantine outfit of the day. My top is from Target, my jeans are from Forever 21, and my shoes are just my Vans with my avocado socks from Target. Typically, I like to at least get myself dressed for the day, even if obviously I'm not going anywhere, just because it makes me feel more in the routine of having to do work and get stuff done. <laughs> I just got done making some breakfast and making my coffee. I usually take this time to kind of go through my emails and delete all the spam, respond to anything if I have to. I'll also check my school's website to make sure I don't have any homework due today that I don't know about. Today is Wednesday. Nope, I don't have anything due. And then usually when I eat breakfast, I'll pick like a YouTube video and I'll just watch that while I eat and drink my coffee. And then afterwards, we will start the makeup. Who do we want to watch today? <laughs> I wanted to try that TikTok thing where you do like the moisturizer and then translucent powder and then setting spray, which I don't have, but I have like rose water type stuff. Board in the house. Board in the house, number in the house, board. Then this is take translucent powder. I'm gonna use this tart one. And then she said setting spray. She said, let that dry. In the meantime, we're gonna do my eyeshadow real quick. I use the Tartlet Toasted Palette. I've been using this for like three years. I just finished all of my eye makeup. We're gonna continue to try out this TikTok 
makeup life hack that we're doing. I did moisturizer, translucent powder, and then setting spray. I let that all dry, and now we're gonna do primer and foundation, and we'll see if it really makes your skin just as flawless as they say. I don't know if this is really gonna work, considering I feel like it depends on your skin type. Like, I have mostly dry skin, and usually with the more products I use before putting on foundation, the cakier my face looked. So we're about to find out. I think it's kind of weird, though, that you put powder on, and then it gets in your pores, and then the whole reason why you do primer so that way you protect your pores. Okay, I use the L'Oreal True Match and I take my now very damp beauty blender. Go like this. Okay, 10 out of 10. This definitely does work. I don't think I would do this though as like an everyday makeup routine because I don't like my makeup to look so thick. I, I don't know if that's even the right word. Matte. I guess the true test would be if it lasts all day. Go check out my vlog if you want to see if it ends. So I'm officially all done and ready for my day. I'm not going to lie. Typically, I don't go full glam with the makeup. I'll just do like mascara and concealer. But I felt like trying out that TikTok hack and I'm glad I did because I discovered it really does work. I'll update my vlog later today if it stays on for 24 hours like I think it's supposed to. So go check out the vlog on my vlog channel. It'll be up already by the time this video is up. At this point, when I finish getting ready, I normally just hop right into work. Right now I have to edit a vlog and get it up today. Then I'm going to be taking photos for my Poshmark. That concludes my quarantine morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me a comment down below. What is your favorite part of your morning routine? Because mine definitely is making the coffee. Don't forget to also go subscribe to my vlog channel. I pretty much vlog every day and I upload at least three times a week. Vlog of content over there to get you through this quarantine but i love you guys all so much and i'll see you all in my next video bye